We are unboxing an iPhone 15. Just the basic today. This is the cheapest iPhone that you can buy. That is the latest generation. And we had to replace an old iPhone 6S. Max is what they called it. I'm not even remembering the big one. So that was actually a monumental phone in its own right. It was the first large form factor iPhone. And the software stopped being supported for it. So we've had to upgrade. Battery was still fine on it, but ultimately it was the lack of support. So a testament to Apple's build quality I've got a friend who is an engineer that sources the components for these phones and they are held to a much higher standard than everything else out there in the industry in terms of hours between failure. And so that's why these iPhones last so long and that's why we pretty much use them exclusively. So. We'll take off the cover here, and this one is in blue, so really subtle blue, actually. Uh, maybe if I take off the rear plate, it will be, oh, this is, this is the blue. <laughs> okay, I thought the this may be some sort of protective cover on the, the rear glass, but it's not. So just two cameras on this. We're not going for a Pro Max like we are filming with right now. This is, uh, we're still filming with our 13 Pro Max. Really simplified packaging now. You just get a, oh yeah, USB-C. Okay, forgot about that. No more lightning. So what else have we have here? Probably your usual sticker package. Yep, a little sticker there. And what is this? You no longer need a physical SIM. All right, so this uses the eSIM exclusively. Safety and handling. And oh, this is just a single sheet. They've very much simplified the packaging. And as usual, designed down the street from us at Apple headquarters in Cupertino. We'll go ahead and fire this up. Interesting. We'll be curious to see how durable the USB-C on this is because we had the first, or we still have the first generation iPad Pro um, with uh, the USB-C and that connector does not work too well anymore in terms of uh, charging and also connectivity. So we'll go ahead and set this up. Looks like it comes with uh, some sort of a charge percentage there. Not fully charged for shipping. Get some basic questions here. We'll just use the default actually large. See what the large looks like. And we'll go ahead and transfer our old stuff from our old uh, iPhone 6S Max. And there you have it. We're upgrading to the latest and greatest. Couldn't hold out for another couple months for the iPhone 16. So here we are.